Hello, how are you? Hello, good night. How are you? Good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening, sorry. <laughs> good evening. I think, oh yeah. It, well, in San Miguel it's raining, I don't know. Uh, it's raining there? No, 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 no? Here, nothing. Oh, okay. I thought it was raining, but okay. No, yesterday no. was a huge. Ah, yesterday, yes. Yesterday, yes. Okay, and how was your day today, Kimberly? Uh, I just came for a meeting and mm -hmm. well, getting ready for um, for a lot of uh, stuff to do. <laughs> so yeah, it's a good, good day. I had a good day. Okay. And the meeting was very long. Just for two hours, uh, 6.30 to 8.20, 20. And I was talking, talking, and then I came back. So um, here, yeah. Every week I, I, I got this meeting. Uh, every Tuesday. Uh, yes, every Tuesday and Saturday too. Mm. So the meeting is twice a week. Yes, twice. A week. It's the congregation meeting. Oh, for the church. Yes. Ah, okay. That's great. Yeah, so yourself, every week. You keep yourself very busy. Yeah, yeah, I try to be busy. <laughs> I like to be moving, not just quiet, so a lot of things. Okay, good, good. Sandra, Sonia, Oscar, how about you guys? How was your week? How was your day? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in my case, um, uh, it was a busy day uh, because I went to the uh, school to my nephew, uh, and I I do I going to the bank with my grandma. Okay. So I spend my time with with my family. Hey. Okay. And do you like going to the bank? Uh, if I go with my grandma, maybe. <laughs> but the, if I go alone, no, because it, uh, all the time is full and the bank is full. So mm -hmm. I hate that. But my grandma passed very fast. Okay, okay. Good. Yeah, I think that many times ah, there are some errands that nobody likes to do. Everybody says, I know, I don't want to do uh, those types of things. But if you do with someone else, it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. If you do by yourself, you don't like. But if you like to do with someone else, then yes. Okay. Well, guys, today we're going to continue on describing personality traits. Today, we're going to continue 5.9 in the platform. We are almost finished. And here is the objective for today. Oscar, could you please read? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... At the end of this class, participants will learn objectives for describing personality traits. Okay, good. So these are the words that we need for describing. Here, we're going to find out exactly what are some words that we can use. And then we're going to practice using them. Hello. Which of these adjectives are positive? We are negative. Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad tempered, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level headed, moody, 
punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that... First, before those, let's take a look at these adjectives. Are there any adjectives you don't know? Yes, yes, teacher. Este level, level headed. For Good. Level headed. Level headed is a way to say calm. The person is calm. They are level headed. Okay. Mm -hmm. And reliable. 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 Reliable means that you believe the person because they do the things that they say. Is, ah, is okay. Uh huh. Like a Toyota. Many people say the Toyota is reliable car. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? Moody. Moody. Moody is the person that changes the how they feel. They are happy, angry, sad. They are moody. Okay. It's okay. Yes. All right, let's listen to what we're going to do next. Let's see. Forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. What is number one? Serious. Serious? Serious. Very good. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a. What's number two? Generous. Good. Generous. Good. Good. The pronunciation, je. Generous. Generous. Correct. Generous. Generous. Good. Let's look number three. A teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. What is number three? Moody. Good. Moody. Moody. Yes. Four. A relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. What was the brother? Hello. Moody. Moody, no. Bad tempered. Bad tempered, yeah. He was bad tempered. He gets angry easily. Very good. So those are some of the words to describe personality traits. Okay. Now we're going to understand and use the clause because. Here, super easy. Just watch clauses with because to explain reasons. 
Hi, are you ready to introduce a positive reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. So, why do we use because? Is all of the because are to give us the reason, tell us why. It's okay? Yeah, teacher, it's okay. Okay. Remember, it's for explaining why. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because it's a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor, or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay, so we're going to talk about, but not for being a good president, an actor, an actress, but we're going to go to the topic of our best friends. Now, everybody has friends. Some are good friends. Some are so-so friends. Some friends are old friends. Some friends are new. We have many different friends from different parts of our life, sometimes from high school, from adults, from job, from different things. With your partners, you can see I gave you a link in the chat for many questions for you to talk about your friends and answer the questions about them. Do you see the link? Yes. Yes, yes. yes teacher. And I can see the question too. Okay. So you have the questions, the links. Woo! Look, lots and lots of questions. The idea is for us to feel comfortable talking and answering. Now, remember, it's important. That, but you don't have to go in order. You can go one question and then go down to the bottom or from the bottom, go to the top. It's not an obligation to go in order. Yes? Any words? Look at the questions. Any words that you don't know from the conversation? Or any words you don't know from the questions? It's okay. It's okay, teacher. It's okay? All right, then let's do it.
Creo que a los compañeros se les fue la señal a nivel interno. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. I put you to another group. No problems, Rosa. Okay. Remember, Rosa, you have to try to speak in English. You speak a lot, a lot of Spanish. Okay. Uh -huh. Try to do everything in English. It's difficult, but the more you practice, the better.
Okay, tell me, what did you learn about your, your partner's best friends or friends? So what did you learn about your partner's friends? Uh, uh, I... I... Uh, I speak with uh, Josemit and she say that she have a uh, only one best friend and she met that person in the college and now she's a madrina godmother I don't know how to godmother mm -hmm. to to her daughter 
Wow. Her hair baby. And, and, uh, and she she was very close with with her. Yes, to be the godmother, I imagine, yes. All right, very nice. And Sandra, uh, from my... Uh, go I'm ahead, sorry. No, 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 go uh, ahead. From Arturo and, and Rosa. Rosa has a friend that she's friendly, beautiful, and, and friendly too. And... And Arturo, she told us that he has a, a friend, amazing friend. And he, yeah, he has amazing friend and, and sociable. And that's it. Okay, all right. Anybody else? No, you didn't listen to your partner, you don't hear. Hi, teacher. Um, my partner is Sonia Maldonado. Mm -hmm. uh, your best friend. And um, her name is Maria. Uh, she lives in Canada. Uh, she was now hair science college at uh, university, and they graduated. No sé cómo se dice se graduaron. Graduated. Graduated mm -hmm. together and still uh, communicate to this day wow. only. Okay. That's good, that's good. Anybody else? No. Okay, don't worry. It's okay if you are shy or it's okay. No. We sometimes we have friends that we know for many years. Other times we have new new friends that we just met, new co-workers or sometimes new people from the church or from other places. Now, what do you think? If you want to make friends, where is the best place to make friends? In the schools? So in the see. college and the school. Okay, so you think in schools. So right now, you are in school. Did you make a new friend? Do you talk to the person? I think it is in a kinder. <laughs> <laughs> so if no friend from kinder, no more friends for life. No, because you can meet well, you can know most, mm, a lot of things of that person, you know? About you can grow up with him or with her. And you can know his, how, how to say, gustos? Tastes. And his steaks or her steaks. Okay. Good. All right. Well, now we're going to describe and practice the usage of because. Why do we do things? Why do you study English? Why do you work? Why do you go to university? Why did you pick your career? We are going to practice with this for the clause for because. This is in 5.13. 5.13, right? With your partner, you have five statements, but also you're going to explain your own. So yes, we have choices, for example, here, okay? But I want you to complete it with your idea. So for example, I wouldn't want to be a nurse because 
nurses have very difficult hours and sometimes they have to work 24 hours or they have to work at night. And I don't like to work at night. I prefer to sleep at night. It's okay? It's okay. So remember two things, complete 5.13 and then give your opinion of why yes or why not for each of those activities. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's do it then. Hang on. Oops. Let me make a new one.
You okay, Joseph Smith? I just have a problem. It is too much rain, so sometimes the um, energy, energy, mm -hmm. the electricity is gone. So don't that's worry. why <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay. It's where that is like that. <laughs> uh, it happens, it is, it's normal. All right, guys, let's take a look. Let's see first the answers and then your opinions. Number one, I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like, don't like hospitals. Okay, good. Two, I'd like to be a novelist because I love creating writing. Good, creative. Creative, creative. Good. Number three. I could never be an account accountant. Because I'm terrible with number. Okay, okay, good. Number four. I would make a bad waiter because I have a terrible memory. <laughs> Whoops. Good, and the last one. I could be a flight attendant because I really enjoy traveling. All right, excellent job. As you can see, all of those are correct. All of our answers are right, okay? Now we're going to talk with our partners and ask them WH or Y questions. So that way they can practice creating their own, right? That's what we had. So what did you ask your partner? Why were the reasons that they did the things? So for example, my partner, I could never be an accountant. Why? What did your partner say? What were their answers for those statements? I don't want I gave, I gave, so I answered that question and I say that I don't like me. Um, I, I want to be a content because I, I don't like me to work with money. Yeah because it's very stressful. Ah, okay. That's a good reason, yeah. Yes, that job is a little stressful for, you have to be exact. Mm -hmm. Anyone In else? my case, mm -hmm. number, number one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals. <laughs> it's the same for you? Yes, yes. I okay. don't like the hospital. Ah, okay, okay. Good. Uh, go ahead. Oscar, go ahead. Okay. In, I like maybe five. I could be a flight attendant because I enjoy traveling. Okay. And where would you like to work if you could travel? Qatar, uh, Avianca. Lufthansa. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe Qatar Airways, I guess. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and try. And we want to make sure that we're going to make questions with why. I'm going to ask my partner why. For example, um, I say, Sandra, why do you have breakfast? Why do you study English? Uh, Oscar, uh, why do you go to the gym? Kimberly, why did you pick your career? Joseph Smith, what? The idea is we are going to ask questions with why, so the partner has the opportunity to answer with because. Okay. 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 Perfect. All right, great. Remember, create your questions with why. What are your questions with why? 
Ok. Ok. okay.
Okay. So tell me, what did your partner tell you? Why do they study English? Why do they do different things? The partner say she has studied English because it's, it's nowadays it's very, very important to the performing the job and communicate with the other people. Okay, all right, good. Anybody else? Uh, my partner say that is is for is important for them because um, they use for uh, found a better job and um, um, is an option if they want to to work in other in other country. Okay, good. So as you can see, because it's super easy to use, we use it normally. It's only explaining the reason or why. Tomorrow we are going to work on the final exam. And this is going to be five sections. Tomorrow we work on it and make sure that it's clear. And that way we finish so that on Thursday, we don't have any worries no internet, we have problems at work, we can't connect, no problem. We already finished the platform, okay? Okay. okay. All right, guys, okay. I'll see you tomorrow and we finish the platform. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Bye bye. Bye.